All right, so hello everyone. I am going to share with you what I am committing myself to with regards to my life monastery rhythms. So as a reminder what a life monastery is, um, it's to see my own life as, as if I was living in a monastery, except it's one of my own design. And um, uh, it's one of my own, uh, I'm the spiritual director of my own life monastery, essentially. Uh, and of course, I believe that I have plenty of invisible support and invisible mentorship from my spirit team, uh, my, my source, my God, and my uh, spiritual guidance, basically. So, uh, but what does it practically mean to be living in a life monastery? Well, it means, well, the way I'm approaching it is, you know, when you, when you enroll in a monastery program, uh, you are committed to a certain set of disciplines throughout the day and throughout the week. Uh, right now, I'm, I'm very simply, um, I've, got, I've got one weekly rhythm, which is to reflect on how it's going, and I try to share on video like this. But I've got a bunch of daily rhythms um, that I'm going to share with you right now. And what I've done is I've created a uh, to keep myself, um, you know, remembering what they are and to do them throughout the day, I've created a Google Keep checklist uh, for myself so that I can kind of check them off as I do them throughout the day. And I'm going to do another video next week about how it's going, how I'm keeping myself accountable to it. Uh, that's, that's the most challenging part. Um, like coming up with the rhythm itself was you know, relatively fun, actually. Well, I'll share with you what that rhythm is now, and then I'll, I'll talk in future videos about how I'm doing with keeping up with it. So in the morning, uh, so I essentially thought about my, my waking hours and how I will come back to this life monastery throughout the day. Um, in the morning when I wake up, uh, you know, as the default is just to get up, you know, sleepy mode and go to the restroom, do the things, morning hygiene and all that stuff. And well, life monastery is different because it's like waking up begins the program. So when I wake up now, what I try to do is I sit up on my bed. So I sit up, you know, on the edge of my bed with my feet on the floor. And then I do my energy reboot. Uh, if you don't know what that is, you can Google it for my full video about that and energy reboot. You might need to put my name, George Cow, at the end, but uh, it's essentially where I do some conscious breathing of gratitude, of trust, and of reminding myself of the presence of my spiritual team. That's the energy reboot. So I do that sitting on the edge of my bed. And then after my energy reboot, I, I'm still in sleepy mode at this moment. I'm a little bit more awake now with the energy reboot, but, but it's, it's only a, you know, I try to do it longer in the morning if I can. So this is only a minute, about a minute or two minutes maximum. So I'm still kind of sleepy mode. So all I can do at this point is to visualize the next thing I'm doing in my life monastery. And so now I go to the next thing. Next thing I'm doing is I go to the bathroom in the morning, uh, normal, <laughs> many people do. And when I'm in the bathroom, again, I do my energy reboot, okay, just to remind myself of being in the Life Monastery program. I also journal uh, on my phone. Uh, and I, these days I use AI chatbot to, to journal. Currently I'm just using ChatGPT, but whatever. And what I'm journaling about is how do I infuse my spirituality into today's tough moments. So I just call that today's spiritual infusion into the tough stuff. So um, as I think about my day and what's coming up, when, when is it uh, going to be least 
easy for me to be spiritual. Um, for example, if I'm on a video talking about spiritual things, then you know it's easy to be spiritual when I'm like talking about it. Of course, what's less easy is if I'm uh, if I have to solve a, a difficult problem that day, a, a tech challenge in my business, or I have to write a difficult email, or I am nervous about some presentation coming up, or I am doing something boring. But those are all difficult moments to bring spirituality in because it's defaulting to fear or boredom or, you know, or um, perfectionism or fear of failure, all that stuff. So, so I, I journal now. I might not have a lot of time in the bathroom, so I just journal on at least one of those tough moments and just kind of like reflect on how I can bring my spiritual practice, spiritual values into that, that tough moment. If I have more time, I'll talk about another moment um, in my journaling. So, and then the next thing I do in, my, in the bathroom is to remind myself of today's life monastery rhythm. So I kind of look at my checklist, my life monastery checklist and go, okay, that's right. I'm gonna, I'm gonna do, uh, at the start of my work, I'm do, doing my energy reboot, right? I'm going to take breaks. I'm doing it a certain way, et cetera, et cetera. So I am, uh, anyway, I'm, I'm going to keep sharing with you what, what those things are throughout the day. Okay. And then if I have any more time in the bathroom, if I'm done with all that, then I go and look at my appointments for the day, which again, as I, as I look at my appointments, my calendar for the day and what I'm doing for the day, I, I take a moment and I say, oh, okay, how, how can I visualize myself infusing spirituality into this task, that moment, this appointment, etc. Et and uh, okay, so after the bathroom stuff, um, I am, as I'm putting, I'm doing the my morning hygiene where I basically put on my contact lens, I clear, I clean my contact lens and put it on. Uh, first, I'm at the sink, I, 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 I give gratitude for the day. Um, I don't know why, but I guess looking in the mirror and like being at the sink, like, I'm just grateful for the ability to live another day and to uh, f seek out opportunities to grow my soul because uh, that's why we're here, I think. And so, and then as I put on the spirit, my contact lenses, I imagine myself putting on spiritual lenses, meaning I'm going to put on my contact lenses as if I am going to, as if I'm putting on, you know, lenses that allow me to view reality and my life and the moments of my life through a more spiritual lens um, okay so that's morning hygiene and then i go to work right so now i'm at the computer usually and before i start every work segment i do my energy reboot again again this is just a 30 second practice usually is how long my energy reboot takes and when i say work segment i mean throughout my day when i'm working by myself when I'm not in a meeting, I work with timers. Uh, this is something I talk about in my Joyful Productivity program. But anyway, I work with 10 minute timers throughout the day. So I set my timer for 10 minutes. I do my 30 second energy reboot, which puts me in a bit more of a spiritual mood. And then I do my work. I try to bring some spirituality to the work. Often I quickly forget, of course. So I have to like, um, I do what I call tiny reboots, which is, when I look at the sky, when I look at the window, look at the sky, just kind of just a, a few seconds of bringing myself back to my spiritual practice again, because I see work as just a stage for spiritual practice. Um, and it's really just uh, about how do I bring more of the spirit with a capital S into the world through my every moment. If I'm typing a, an email, if I am preparing for a meeting, if I am solving a problem, if I am doing some administrative work, none of that is really that important. It's just about how can I infuse spirit into that moment and therefore enliven the world more and in spirit, inspire in spirit the, this life more. And I see that as my, my highest work, um, my real work. And anyway, this video is going kind of long, so I think I might end this video now. Um, I will talk about the rest of my, my daily rhythms 
in the next video. But essentially, that's the most, really the most important parts of my day is how I start the day and then how I work throughout the day, which is in these 10 minute timers with energy reboots. By the way, I'm not saying you should work in 10 minute timers. That's quite advanced in terms of joyful productivity. Most people, if they use a timer at all at work, they do it 25 minute timers, right? That's called the Pomodoro method. 25 minutes of work, timer, timer goes off and then you do five minute break and then another 25 minutes. It's called the Pomodoro method, you wanna look it up. But essentially, what I try to do is to build in my energy reboots along with my timers, you know, connected to my timers so that I'll remember to do my energy reboot, which is how I bring, which is how I consciously take a pause and bring spirituality into my day. So I think that's all I want to say for now. I, I appreciate you watching these videos, the, the one or a few of you who do. Um, you know, thank you, Lori, for commenting on my videos. Uh, thank you. Um, so that's all for now. I will, in my next video, my next week, uh, I will share with you the rest of the, the life's rhythms. And then going forward, of course, I'll talk about how I am <laughs> keeping myself accountable or doing them because just doing it myself without the benefit of being in a community of, you know, people who, you know, ring bells and have various accountability, you know, those being in an actual monastery, there's so much accountability with bells and other things they do, you know, as a community. But here I am doing it myself. And that's the big challenge. But that's, that's uh, the, that's the price of privacy, right? Not having to go live in a monastery, but just do it here as a householder doing it wherever I am. So anyway, I look forward to sharing this journey with you. I hope that this kind of describing of my morning and my morning routine and how I work uh, is inspiring for you to consider how you might, whether or not you do a life monastery yourself or not, how you might ins infuse more spirit into your day. So thank you so much for watching and I wish you a wonderful day and evening.